Hello, it's Adrienne. How are you doing today? So I'm back with a dupe uh, for a couple of the new palettes that have come out this holiday season. I think everybody was expecting warm, cozy colors, and all of a sudden a couple of these uh, the palettes or eyeshadow palettes have been releasing, and they are not warm and cuddly. They are kind of terrifying in a way. So um, I'm back here today with a dupe for the Ghost Palette by Glamlight and a uh, dupe for the Natasha Denona uh, Xenon Palette. There are two Xenon Palettes. One is the Midi Palette that runs about $69. And then she also has a five pan palette as well. And we'll go ahead and get started. As far as what I have on the face right now, I do have the Glow Oil by uh, Supergoop, and this has an SPF of 50 in it. And then I do also have the House Labs, their Triclone Foundation. This is Fair Cool, in, uh, shade number 50 that I have on there. I did go ahead and use the Incognito, and this one is by Wet n Wild as far as my concealer today. And um, let's see, as far as what I went ahead and did on the cheeks, use my all-time favorite, the MAC in the Light Radiant Rosy. And this one is what I have on for my bronzer today. And went ahead and used one of the LYS. This is their, or part of their uh, higher standards holiday set that came out. It's three different blushes. They're all creams. Uh, this one is actually what they consider to be a shimmer cream. Uh, the other two that come in the set are actually matte ones, and that's what I have on right now. I did also go ahead and use the ColourPop, and this is the Out of Quartz. I'm using this as a highlighter today. So that's what I have on there. As far as what I went ahead and did for the lips, uh, I went ahead and got out the Oma by Sharon C. It's Complicated. And It's Complicated can either go um, on your cheeks or on your lips. And I'm wearing it on my lips today. I did go ahead and blot it. And then I used the NYX Inst or Filler Instinct to go along with it. So that's what I have on there. As far as the dupe that we're all here for, uh, this is by ColourPop. You can get it on the ColourPop website. It's called Blow and Smoke. It's a nine pan gray scale palette, and this is what it looks like. And um, it is a whole bunch of grays. The shimmers do lean blue gray, so that's, I mean, it's not going to be a brown gray or anything, or it's doesn't even get close to taupe, okay? Uh, these are going to be some of the swatches that I did. I did use more than one um, swatch here, and that middle one just seems to want to glare across the screen here. Maybe that's better. There we go. That's a little bit better. So they all come off very, very dark. As far as what I went ahead and did, well, actually, let's go back, because with this kind of look, you have to have the brow and I have the Oma by Sharon C. Again, this is the Oma, the um, drugstore part of Oma. It was in Walmart. It's on the Oma website now if you want to order it. And this one's in taupe. It may be still in Walmart, but it's not in my Walmart anymore. And um, as far as this palette goes, again, this is what I used. I did go ahead and use this in the crease. And then I went ahead and used this on the outer corner. I deepened up in the outer corner with this um, black with, it has a little bit of shimmer in it. And then this is a really gorgeous, it's one of their silvers. I think it's going to be an iconic color for ColourPop. Um, it's just really, really pretty. It has as much shine as I think is possible. In fact, the camera doesn't like it at all because it's so shiny. And yeah, there you can kind of see it. But um, yeah, I went ahead and put this very shiny silver on the lid. Then I went ahead and used the white, and I used it under the brow. And then from the corner, or the inner corner, all the way up to the eyebrows. So um, yeah, 
that's the way that the look turned out. And right now, with uh, having my hair back and red lips and this look, I'm thinking 90s MTV kind of video, you know. But, um, yeah, and those that song is now going through my head. But anyway, um, so anyway, I thought I'd show you what the dupe looks like. Um, again, grayscale. And um, for this one, on the ColourPop website, it's running about $14. It's in the Spooky Shop right now for Halloween. Um, but if you're interested in going ahead and doing looks like this, it's a good palette. I would definitely recommend it. Um, it's called Blow and Smoke, and I've done a couple of looks here and there with it. I was, um, when I learned about makeup, you always had a black and a white and a gray. And so this was one of the first palettes I picked up, just thinking that if I needed to blend colors, I'd have a black and a white and a gray in there. So um, that's what I have on my eyes right now. I did go ahead and use some eyeliner. I used an Emride blue one just because the silver definitely leans blue. In fact, it's kind of going sort of silver baby blue kind of thing. But anyway, this is how the eye look turned out. And so that's how it looks right there. Um, I do am just sort of uh, blown away by some of these palettes are, are coming out right now. was not expecting this many cool tone palettes. Um, the only thing that I can tell you as far as going ahead and doing this look is I used mascara and more mascara and a little bit more mascara. So I started off with the Sky High by uh, Maybelline and that's lengthening mascara. And then I went ahead and added in the Essence uh, Volume Curl and Hold, the 18-hour. Yeah, I think this, yeah, it's the 18-hour one. And with this one, it's a tubing mascara. So this lengthens, and then this is tubing. So I went for getting as much mascara on as I could. Uh, fake lashes. I mean, you can put a half lash on me, and it'll stay on there. But anything other than that, it'll just fall off. So, I mean, definitely this look would lend itself to a lash. It just, um, it's later in the evening and I'm not going out anywhere. So, on that. And, um, let's see. Again, if you want to go ahead and do those palettes that are coming out right now, this is definitely an option for you. And it's definitely a drugstore option, so you can try it without breaking the bank. Um, yeah. I think it's kind of a, it's a glamorous look. It really is a glamorous look. And for the holidays coming up and holiday parties, you might actually really enjoy a look like this. Um, I I think it looks good. It's definitely um, an all glam look to me. So uh, that's the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that the uh, products I showed you, inspire you, or make you remember something of your own that works real well. And other than that, I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you later. Bye.